Oh, I've been waiting for a good opportunity to talk about my boy, Dirge. Yes, Dirge is amazing, and I hate that they've just forgotten about him entirely, because he is one of the coolest Star Wars characters ever. Ever. He's probably one of my favorite bounty hunters. He is so cool. He killed it in the original Clone Wars show. Uh, he's awesome. And I've been wanting this full, complete set for a very long time. Dirge and Speeder Bike from the original 2003 era Clone Wars toy line. Um, I had the Dirge without any accessories, but I really wanted the Speeder and all of the gear. And I finally got it at the Toy Department, the best place on Earth. Uh, no, it's not sponsored. Uh, I just love the Toy Department. Check them out. They're a really great store in Ohio. Uh, but yeah, finally got Dirge and the Speeder Bike, and this set is amazing, man! I highly recommend you go get this. This is the best Dirge figure they've ever released. It's such a cool speeder bike. <clears throat> it kind of looks like a swoop bike. Uh, it has the lance. It has guns. It has accessories for the bike. It's so sweet. Uh, and then you have the Dirge, too, which is amazing. Oh, my gosh. So let's just talk about the whole piece here. This only cost me 15 bucks. Look at that. Look at this. 15 bucks for this awesome piece. Like, I don't call things a piece a lot, but this is just one whole package of awesome. The speeder bike is amazing and has so much nice detail on it. The dirge figure itself is, I think, the best dirge we've ever gotten. Um, and look at this. Oh, my gosh. He has this awesome little... Ugh, he's got these guns on it. He has the lance that clips on. He has this rifle right here that's strapped on the side, Mad Max style. That just gives me Mad Max vibes, and I love it. Um, he's got all these cool pipes and things. Look at all this paint. The speeder is covered in paint. Look at that. It's just getting close. There's so much detail on the speeder bike. Look at that. And on the underside, you can see it has some detail even there. On the top, got that nice paint. Has like these cool little, uh, I guess it may be like a storage sack. I don't know. It does have these holes, unfortunately, for where it connects, because the front piece has to connect to the back piece. And you can't really detach it once you get it on. At least I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> it's not supposed to come off, but, I mean, you probably could. Oh, you have these guns up front. You have this nice kind of spiky look on the front. And then you have this, the lance. Look at that look to the lance. It is so nice. Uh, this is kind of like a realistic interpretation of Dirge and his speeder bike from the animated show. Uh, this isn't you know, supposed to be 100% faithful. I mean, look at the design of Dirge. That is not really how he looked in the animated cartoon. But it, it's an approximation. It's a realistic approximation of what Dirge looked like. And I really approve of that. <laughs> it's so sweet. Um, so you can see he sits on the bike really, really well. Uh, he, he's, he looks so good on this bike. Look at that. And you do have this rifle right here. Which, this is probably my only problem with the set is this rifle. Because the rifle looks nice, and I love how the... Oh my gosh, get out of there, hair. The rifle looks nice, and I love how it slots in the bike. But the strap, we've got to talk about this strap. It just doesn't peg in. <laughs> it's it's It stays, but it just doesn't stay. That's the problem. It just, it just doesn't have any friction. It will not stay, and that's that's the issue. So, like, you get it in there, you tab it in, you put it in. Oh, look, it came undone. Oh, no. Oh, well, whatever. At least it's not too noticeable when it's detached and it's still in there. Then you have the lance, which, which you can unpeg. You can actually peg it on the other side, too, if you want. But I kind of wouldn't, because you have the gun on that side. I like the asymmetry. So I would recommend leaving it on that side, good sir. So, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And you can hold both of those as accessories. Uh, so that's pretty much the bike. Let's talk about the dirge himself. So, dismounting Dirge here, you can just remove his hands and then just slot them off. You can see the seat right there and the controls. Looks really nice. Such a cool looking speeder. Let's just get those extra accessories off of it. Set that off to the back, set those off to the side. And then Dirge himself is pretty much... Oop! I've always forgot that happens. Dirge himself is pretty much fully articulated, except for the... Oh my gosh, I saw... I have a lava lamp on the other side of the desk, and I saw one of the pieces of wax moving, and it confused me. See, so yeah, what happened, since he's been sitting for a while, these tubes have flexed in a closed-off position, and they want to come detached from that. It's not like it breaks or anything, it just kind of slots in there. Um, so it won't break, so you can just slot it back in. 
So yeah, I really like those tube details. It's really nice. And then you can stand him up, get his arms straight, because he can actually pose his arms too, which is great. And there we go. There's our dirge. Looking amazing. I love the uh, mythosaur skull on his chest there. Because he hates Mandalorians, but he likes wearing their emblem for some reason. Uh, he has a cool backpack, like a jet pack, so he can actually jet around. Uh, he does have his little pistols, which the original one I had didn't have the jetpack or the pistols. So it's kind of like having this figure for the first time, because he actually has has his accessories. So, because I didn't really like messing with it without the accessories. I was like, oh, well, it's a dirge. But yeah, look at it now, man. That is sweet. I love that. And you have both. He can dual wield. He does have trigger fingers, so you can actually get the trigger finger in the loop there. So yeah, look at that, man. That is amazing. And you do have nice leg articulation because of him going on the speeder. So you can actually get him kind of lunging. You can get him some pretty cool action poses, my man. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. This thing is... How old? I'm trying to, I'm trying to do the math real quick. 17 years old? Oh my gosh. <laughs> For how old it is, it's so good. It's not perfect. I mean, you can tell it's a little awkward. It's a little awkward of a figure, but look at that. He can holster the gun. I mean, that's amazing. I love when a figure can actually do that. And they actually stay in there pretty nice, too. Like I said, that is a removable thing, so you can just pop that off if you want. But why would you? So, like I said, he does have his two other accessories. Let's talk about those. He has the lance. If you want him to hold the lance, uh, he has no real problem holding the lance uh, in either spot. So you have that. And then you could maybe tab it on his arm. I wouldn't really suggest it. I mean, it can kind of go on there, but I wouldn't really do that. I love all the little weapons on his arms, too. I wish he came with the, uh, like, the beam shields. I wish he had those. That'd be really sweet. So yeah, you have that. And then you have this gun, which you have the strap. I don't... The strap's not really good for anything, because it's a really tiny strap. I mean, you could probably get it over his shoulder... And have it strapped on like that. I mean, you can do that, but it's just gonna come undone. And he doesn't like holding it too much either, because he has a really has a really awkward handle. So you have to kind of finesse with it. I mean, that's pretty much how you can get him to hold it. He's not gonna be looking like he's firing it, because I mean, it just won't fit. So it's kind of a an accessory more for show, unfortunately. But I mean, he can sort of hold it better in his right hand. Um, but it's really loose. And of course, the strap's gonna come undone. And he kind of looks awkward holding it. So, I mean, it's, like I said, not the best accessory. But, hey, he comes with it. And I appreciate that. And you can, if you want, getting him holding it with two hands. So if you want him looking a little more infantry, you can. Oh, my gosh, I love this thing. <laughs> look at this figure. It's so great. So, yeah, he has those accessories. Um, just look at the detail just a little closer. Look at the paint on the helmet. Look at the design of the helmet. Dirge is a badass. God, I love Dirge. So many people probably don't even know who Dirge is anymore, and it breaks my heart. Oh my gosh. He was Cad Bane of the original Clone Wars show, and he was cooler than Cad Bane. I don't care, man. Fight me. Look at all that. Look at all the detail, the armor and everything. Look at that. He looks cybernetic. Even though he's not cybernetic, he's literally like a tentacle monster and trapped in armor, and I love that. Uh, so... I mean, yeah, look at it. He's pretty articulated. The The legs aren't super posable, but you can see you can get him in dynamic poses. Uh, he doesn't have pegs on the bottom of his feet, unfortunately, so you can't get him on a base. But, I mean, you can pose him around. He has a ball joint at the head, or is it like a hinge swivel system? It's a hinge swivel system, actually. You can see up there. He has a hinge swivel at the head, which is actually pretty rare to see on a Star Wars figure. Hinge swivel at the shoulder. That actually goes up all the way. He has... Hinge and swivel at the elbow. He has swivels at the wrist there. He has a really nice ball joint at the waist. They can actually... Look at that ab crunch, man. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's so he can look uh, better on the speeder. His legs move forward all the way. They move down pretty... They pretty much move all the way down, but they like maybe flexing like that. Just kind of depends. Nice hinge and swivel at the knee and nothing at the ankle, unfortunately. But he doesn't really need that. He's kind of always stuck in an A stance because how he sits on the speeder, but it doesn't look too bad. I mean, he doesn't look too out of place. <clears throat> he doesn't look like he's awkwardly standing. Because, I mean, look, it's Dirge. 
They did release a different version of this dirge. It was kind of like another deluxe figure. It doesn't have elbow articulation, so it's definitely the inferior version. I wouldn't recommend getting that. I'd get the speeder. I mean, come on, you see dirge on the speeder. That's when he does his little freaking... What's the military term? Was dirge the one that attacked, or was it like both of them at once? Dirge was the one that attacked. It was a sortie. That's what it was. It was kind of like a sortie. Um, you know, that's when dirge kind of did his first sortie. So that's cool. <clears throat> Such a weird word, isn't it? For like coming, for putting, for making an attack in a defensive position, sortie. That's what it's called. You can see all those big old cannons were firing on the seps. And then Dirge comes out with his speeder and all of his IG lancers and he just annihilates them all. And then he holds up, he, he just holds up his fist in victory. So here, let's, let's get him in that pose. I don't remember if he was holding the lance or not. Let's have him hold the lance, because why not? Ooh, come on. Hold the lance. I don't want to stretch out his hand too much. So yeah, there we go. There's Dirge with a speeder bike. Ah, I recommend this set so much. <laughs> it's so cool. Look at that. Aw, oh, man, this is what Star Wars collecting is to me. Look at this. Ah, I love it. Uh, nothing new they ever release will ever top my excitement that I feel for things like this. Nothing. Nothing can make me feel what this makes me feel. Uh, <clears throat> man, the spirit is gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> the spirit of Star Wars toys is gone. They can keep manufacturing these highly premium 6-inch articulated Star Wars Black Series action figures from Hasbro, but they'll never release anything like this anymore. <laughs> like, a, a, like a reinvented design of Dirge with, I mean, his badass speeder, and oh my gosh, oh, I love it. I love this so much. <laughs> I'm going to end this video so I just stop gushing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to come, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links, P.O. Box address, and frequently asked questions down in the description below. Have a good day, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.